what's going on guys arrow here and guys there are only a few more days to go until e3 yes we've only got a few more days to go until one of the biggest gaming conventions across the world is going to happen and we're going to get a whole bunch of information from nintendo and a whole bunch of other companies on all the content that's coming out this year as well as the future and now because we're getting so close to e3 this also means that this time right here right now before a few weeks before the actual e3 presentation is considered leak season as we can definitely get some leaks on major things that could be planned for E3 or in stuff that might accidentally be coming out a little ahead of time than when they're supposed to be. And because of that, we have been getting a lot of leaks recently. I'm sure you guys know about the Mario and Rabbids leak that happened just recently. I think it was like a few days ago. I was going to cover that, but I didn't have time. But yeah, it definitely looks like that this leak is going to be a pretty convincing one. I mean, there's no way that leak can be fake now. I mean, like we've had evidence of this game of a Mario and Rabbids game since like way back and then now we've got pictures and proof and everything from uh, Ubisoft and like all of their plans so definitely leaks are going to be happening now and today I've got an interesting leak to talk to you guys about and it involves one of the biggest franchises of Nintendo that everyone loves Super Smash Brothers so yes here today we've got a few pictures to talk about of what claimed to be from the Smash Brothers on the Switch version so now these are supposedly like leaked screenshots of Super Smash Brothers on the Switch and I'm going to be playing them on this video so you guys will see them I'll have like a little slide show of them going through and yeah you guys can see them right here basically we've got like one with um, Mario and Bowser Jr. there's one with Yoshi throwing an egg at like a target um, you know there's some other ones here uh, with like Smash Run uh, being played as well and yeah so these are some screenshots that have come out and I think they came from an anonymous source on 4chan and basically the, uh, this person claims that these are going to be screenshots from Super Smash Brothers on the Switch now of course you know a lot of people are going to be right away saying that okay this is fake there's no way that this can be real but you know I have you know that a lot of times leaks that people think are fake actually turn out to be real I mean this happens all the time whenever we see leaks we're like okay you know you don't want to believe it sometimes if you don't want to you know believe some of the information that's there and a lot of times people claim leaks are fake and then they turn out to be true sometimes leaks uh, look really convincing like the Rayman leak that happened and then they turn out to be fake so there's a whole bunch of things that can happen with leaks and now it's a really confusing thing to go through but from here what I can see there's a lot of things that people have pointed out so far and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about them so yeah, the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the pictures that you have here. Basically, the number one thing that people are saying is that this looks like that the screenshots are coming from a Japanese version of the game. And the reason is because when you look at the player icons, it says 2P, meaning that it's like, you know, how they say it in like the Japanese version of Super Smash Brothers, like for all the players, it says 2P, 1P on them. And because of that, that means that the game should be running a Japanese version of the game. And that's what a lot of people are saying. But if you look at the picture with Bowser Jr. in it, his his name is actually Bowser Jr. And that's actually not the name that Bowser Jr. has in the Japanese version of Super Smash Brothers. Instead, it's Koopa Jr. And so that's what a lot of people are saying to debunk this leak. They're saying, well, since it's not Koopa Jr. and since it's showing 1P because of the fact that it's like a Japanese version, that means that this leak is fake. And, you know, while a lot of people might say that, and, you know, there's some other things as well. Another thing that people are saying is that the fonts of the game are different. You guys can see, like, um, you know, I'll have a comparison of how it says, like, Mario and, like, like the time and stuff and I'll have a picture of like the actual font that's used in Smash on the Wii U and you guys can definitely see that it is a noticeable difference the font is definitely different it's not like you can say that this font might just be a little bit different or anything it's definitely a clear difference but just because the font is different I don't think that we can say that this leak is fake I mean obviously uh, Super Smash Brothers is not going to be like a, com a completely brand new game that they're going to be putting onto the switch it's going to be a port and so obviously to you know redo a port and stuff or like not redo but like sort of revamp the port and make sure that it's like looks nice and stuff they're going to change a few things about it and so I don't think that since the font is different that it completely debunks this uh, leak and rumor I think that it just sort of means that they're kind of changing it up a little bit and you know they just want to make sure that that the game looks a little bit different and not just like a copy paste of the exact game from the Wii U with a little bit of changes. I think that they definitely want to make sure that it looks uh, you know different 
But also another thing that I want to talk to you guys about is definitely the stages that are here from the 3DS. They definitely look like they are upgraded into 3D models and they look way more high resolution than they did on the on the 3DS. So it's definitely not like they could have just, you know, copy and pasted them from the 3DS. There's definitely a lot of rendering and stuff that had to go through to be ordered to get some you know good visuals like this obviously though this doesn't mean that the rumor is the real either we've seen a lot of people go through a lot of modeling and a whole bunch of stuff just to make leaks look convincing so there's definitely potential for that and so you know someone could have taken the time you know maybe this is like a really long project that they could have been working on to try to make sure that it looks uh really legit and make sure that it looks real and we've seen people done this before you know like like many people have seen before the rayman leak and some other leaks that have happened in the past people try to make their leaks look convincing and especially during this time of year you know if they knew like if I release my leak now a lot of people might think it's real because of the fact that E3 is just around the corner and also because of that I do want to talk to you guys about uh, you know E3 coming out now uh, you know really soon as well because if Super Smash Brothers is going to be at E3 I definitely think that they will release a uh, Super Smash Brothers sort of more later next year than releasing it this year I mean Nintendo's got so many titles this year to release I just don't see it happening if Super Smash Brothers is coming out this year as well like they've got you know arms is coming out right after e3 then we've got splatoon 2 the month after um you know i'm sure we're gonna get some like fall titles announced at e3 um i don't think smash bros can fit into that i just think i think that smash brothers is way more of a title that they would want to sell at a better time than just selling it you know during the fall i think that they would want to keep that for like a holiday game or something like that so i i just can't see smash bros coming out this year especially with like mario odyssey that's like the big holiday title that nintendo has for this year i just don't see myself um believing that we could actually be getting smash bros mario kart splatoon and all these amazing games from nintendo in just this first year of the switch i think that if they do show smash brothers it will definitely be a next year title and so if they do so show smash brothers i think that it's going to be coming out next year but that doesn't mean though that they can't show it we've definitely seen smash bros shown to us a lot you know they've shown it to us you know in 2013 and then they showed us you know more stuff even though the game came out late in 2014 so they could definitely show us some stuff early just to get people on board onto the switch and saying like don't worry we've got smash bros to come but yeah i definitely do think that these leaks are pretty convincing they, there's nothing right here that you know you can say right away that it looks fake and i mean even though like i said before like you can see those like sort of flaws that i pointed out like with the font and how um you know it says it says bowser jr instead of koopa jr now just because of those little flaws doesn't mean that um you know the entire leak can be fake because even do you guys remember the original super smash brothers character roster leak that happened in like the summer of 2014 uh when we got like the duck hunt announcement and all of that and that was leaked to us a lot of people were pointing out one thing and that was whenever you guys chose a character there was one line that was a little bit thicker than the other lines that you know were shown when you guys looked at the character portraits and a lot of people said well okay this person like forgot to photoshop this a little bit he made the line too thick and because of that the entire leak is fake and you know a lot of people thought about that and the leak came out to be true and that was just a problem that they had during development and it got fixed when the game came out so there's definitely a little bit of problems that can happen during the development stage and especially now with Nintendo releasing games worldwide uh, you know for the same day it could be a very logical thing for them to work with the name Bowser Jr. and work with the Japanese stuff at the same time to try to get more stuff done and you know I can definitely see that you know they're working with like an English name and working with Japanese stuff at the same time and so leaks are definitely something that can happen a lot of stuff from Nintendo gets leaked and so that that definitely raises an eyebrow this does look pretty convincing so that's you know an interesting thing to just look about right now I don't know how I feel about it completely you know also the uh, the Nintendo Switch presentation that happened in January now this is a post that came out I think it was on 4chan and I'll put a picture of it on screen you guys can look at the date on, that this post was posted and you can see right here that this person knew everything that the Nintendo Switch presentation was going to talk about you can see right here they're talking about Mario Odyssey they're talking about arms and this person posted it like a few days before the actual switch presentation so it's definitely clear that people can have inside information on stuff like this and you know stuff does happen to leak a lot and for Nintendo it's a good amount of stuff that leaks so it's really up to you guys to decide do you guys think that we're going to be getting this at E3 you guys can let me know in the comments if you want my take on it I'm going to say this is like 60% real and 40% false
Falls. You guys can let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to click that like button. It really does help me out. Once again, comment what you feel about all of this down below. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of cool Nintendo content on this channel and more content coming on the way. Go follow me on Twitter at Actual Arrow if you ever want to tweet me something. And thank you so much for watching.